Hey everyone, welcome to the new video. Now I'm going to take a small detour and I'm just going to connect the latest iOS 14.5 that Apple pushed out and rolled out today. And I'm going to just say, I'm going to e explore few, very few of the features that iOS 14.5 brings. And I'm going to answer the question, is it worth upgrading and losing jailbreak? Well, let's go and find out. This is the proof that I'm using uh, iOS 14.5. This is my wife's iPhone 12 Pro Max and uh, of course non-jailbroken uh, currently. So the first thing that Apple pushed out with this update that everybody waited for so um, impatiently is uh, to unlock your device with your Apple Watch. So when you go to settings and you go to Face ID and passcode, in this settings, you will have this option right there where you will have to unlock with Apple Watch. You need to enable this and it will detect whether you have the mask on or not. At the same time, you need to have Apple, uh, Apple Watch running the latest software, which is 7.3, I think. So the, the, the whole thing is that okay, I want to unlock my device even if I have my mask on. So currently I do have my mask on and let me show you quickly how it works. Okay, now I have the mask as you can probably hear. So I'm going to lock my device and I'm going to try to unlock it with my phone. See, it's unlocked. So the, the phone is unlocked with Apple Watch. I can lock it here with this. As you can see, it's locked. So let's try one more time. All right, so you see it's unlocked and I can enter my enter my phone. So this is the main feature that everybody is talking about these days. Now, the second thing is let's say app tracking app tracking transparency. You know that apps can track you where you go through different websites and you know surf other things. So here, uh, Apple has introduced in tracking this uh, option to allow apps to request to track. So they need to request before tracking you uh, completely. Now in this feature, I cannot show it because I've already allowed the apps to do it. But now it will ask you. Do you allow this app to track you or not? So you can allow it same like as you're using your location, right? There is a, a, another update which is very interesting and it's regarding Siri. So now you can select multiple types of voices within each of these varieties like American, Australian, British, Indian, Irish, South African. So compared to the old version, let me show you on my jailbroken uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max. So as you can see, the difference here is that before I only had male and female. I hope you can see this now. Let me zoom in a little bit, but you probably already know that. So you could select between male and female, but here I can select multiple voices, right? So as you can see, this is a smaller update for Siri. People are saying that this is like a huge thing for me. Not so much, to be honest. Uh, however, what is very important here is this is what what's uh, what I really like and what I would like to have on my phone. But because I don't want to lose my jailbreak, I don't, I'm not having it now. Is that I want to be able to use soft, uh, Spotify, for example, for listening to music. Here I have Apple Music and podcasts. But for example, if I say, hey Siri, hey Siri, play Insomnia by Faithless. I'll need to access your Spotify data to do this. Is that okay? Yes. So you can see now that it's playing Spotify song. You know, it can play Spotify song immediately when I ask her to do that. So before that, that wasn't that wasn't doable, right? This is the feature about Siri that I really, I really love. Next one, uh, and it is about emojis. So the emojis have been updated for different skin tone varieties. So when you look into the couples, uh, there are all sorts of combinations of different skin tones that you can select, 
right, between the couples. So you can select different skin tone for male, this different skin tone for females, which is pretty neat, pretty cool. You can select basically all sorts of, of combinations in this regard, which is cool. However, I've noticed that within families, you don't have this. So only the couples, right? Only couples where you can select the, the color of the skin tones, right? Only the couples can be uh, highlighted. But within the families, within the family, this is not doable. So uh, I believe this will be updated in the future as well. This is a minor thing as well, which I'm not using that, that often. Additionally, we have some updates in the podcasts. I'm not really a big, big uh, user of podcasts, podcast app on uh, Apple platform, right? But, you know, uh, apparently there are certain, there are certain updates in terms of how it is functioning, how it is easier to start listening. And they, this is a, a, an update towards what Apple announced as a, a podcast subscription. So soon enough in May, we will have to pay for these podcasts as well. This is additional thing, yay for additional payments. Now, there are a few updates, something interesting about Apple Music. So when you play a song on Apple Music and you uh, select, you select a uh, text like lyrics, then you can share these lyrics with, with uh, other people. You know, you can long press and then you can select a few lines and you can share it. You can share this song with someone or you can just share this, this, these words and you can share it even on Instagram as Instagram music. You can share it within, within a message, the specific and the, the, the song will start playing exactly at this place. So this is pretty neat, to be honest. I like this feature. However, I'm a heavy user of Spotify, so this currently does not really concern me. And I'm not really, you know, sharing songs that much, especially the lyrics, but maybe some of you guys would like to use this, right? Of course, the new uh, iOS 14.5 comes with the support for the Apple's recently announced AirTags. So this, this software will support it, other software, uh, earlier software will not. So if you want to have this and later on uh, uh, when the AirTags come and they will come soon, if you wanna buy it and use it, unfortunately, you might have to lose jailbreak. So again, this is, this is a trade-off, jailbreak or AirTags voting for jailbreak. Reminders are slightly uh, slightly updated. Uh, this is some of my old reminders, which are really, you know, repetitive, etc. But now you have additional option. You you have additional option within the reminders that you can actually sort reminders and select how you will sort by date, due date, creation date, priority, title, right? So there are certain things which again this is a minor thing i don't need i don't think this is uh, the reason for you to jump to ios 14.5 and lose our amazing amazing jailbreak now uh there is also an option that the dual sim uh, support uh, support enables 5g connectivity on the line that's using cellular data on iphone 12 models right so you can have 5g for both of these different different things um, Additionally, there are some other tidbits and some other, you know, updates in the iOS 14.5 where you will have uh, ways like updates, well, uh, navigation and features in the Apple Maps. I'm not using Apple Maps, by the way, so this is completely useless to me. There is also AirPlay 2 support for fitness and, and workout. Now you will be able to connect your PS5 controller on this. Now this might be a neat feature. However, I, I, I find it completely ridiculous because I'm not playing PlayStation on my iPhone. I, I think it's, it's a very, very uh, uncomfortable. Uh, what else? What, what is very nice? I don't have it on my iPad here because it's jailbroken. But the iPads now, when you, when you power them up, the Apple logo will rotate. And it's gonna, if you put it in landscape mode, it's gonna take the landscape uh, position, the Apple logo itself. So these are all, uh, these are silly things, right? This is very, very, very minor. Why do they call it such a huge update? So now at the end of the day, the choice is yours. Are you, gonna to update, are you going to update and lose your jailbreak or are you gonna stay on iOS 14.3 and keep the jailbreak? And I might add that this unlocking with Apple Watch, we've already seen it earlier on iOS 14.3 with Perseus jailbreak and I've shown it in this video above. So all in all, personally, 
I'm not gonna upgrade. I don't care. I've seen it in my wife on my wife's phone. It's a ridiculously minor update in my opinion. Um, I'm, I'm sure there are reasons they are preparing for iOS 15 or something, but no way I'm gonna lose my jailbreak because of these few, few minor upgrades. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I would really appreciate to see if anybody, uh, any of you will actually be sacrificing the jailbreak for the sake of having iOS 14.5. Thanks.